Hello everyone. Welcome to PCCL Physics Chemistry. The graph on the screen represents the variation over time of a voltage. It is sometimes positive, sometimes negative alternately. It is said to be an alternating voltage. And because it has this shape, it is said to be a sinusoidal alternating voltage. V peak. V peak or peak, often noted V peak, is 8 volts here. We will say that the voltage varies between plus VP and minus VP. In this particular case, it varies between plus 8 volts and minus 8 volts. Peak voltage is the voltage from the zero horizontal reference line to the top of the waveform. So we can vary it here. Low voltage. Higher voltage. When adjusting this voltage here. You will have a large volume. And if you decrease the voltage. You will hardly hear anything. The period. It is materialized here by the orange part. It is the elementary pattern that is to say which repeats itself identical to itself. One half positive and one half negative. The period is measured between two identical points. Here you have a zero, and here you have a zero. Be careful there is a zero here, this situation is the same, because this zero is not the same. This is a rising zero. And here you have a descending zero. So you have to measure between this point and that one, or between two peaks here, or between. And T is a duration. It must therefore be measured on the time axis. So there you have it in milliseconds. Be careful because in the calculations we prefer the second. The official unity, the unity of the international system is not the millisecond, it is the second. Frequency. You understood that there was a link with the period since I activate this slider to vary the period. When the period is equal to one millisecond, that is to say one thousandth of a second, the frequency is equal to one thousand hertz. A thousandth, a thousand. The frequency is the reciprocal of the period. Each is the inverse of the other. An example well, everything vibrates. So frequency, you will find it everywhere in physics. Color is a vibration. Sound is a vibration. For sound, for example, well, there you would have a rather high note. And there you would have something lower. Then, the RMS voltage of a sinusoidal AC waveform. Root mean square voltage. The RMS of a periodic voltage is the DC voltage that would have the same effect. Example. Connect a bulb to 6 volts AC and observe its glow. Connect this bulb to a 4.24 volts DC battery. The shine is the same. Why? Whether the voltage is positive or negative, the bulb works the same. We plug it in like this, it lights up. We plug it in like that, it lights up in the same way. So if I straighten out the negative half periods, the bulb is powered by something that looks like this. Well, RMS is the average of this voltage. Remember that this voltage is sinusoidal. In the case of sinusoidal voltages, RMS is V peak divided by square root of 2. At the outlet at home, it's a sine waveform voltage. 
Here, we are in a few volts while the line power, in the US for example is 170 peak and 120 RMS. That's, That's it, it for, for this video. video. Thank, Thank you. you.